Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. As I promised you yesterday at the end of the video about making America rake again, I would bring you how Donald Trump is insulting our military and a veteran once again. And it has not to do with nothing other than the man who organized and led the raid that took out one Osama bin Laden. Osama bin Laden, of course, is the one that was behind the 9-11 attacks, also behind the 1993 attack on the World Trade Center. And the mastermind behind the attack that killed 3,000 Americans there at the World Trade Center in 2001. Things most of us already know. So, we all know that bin Laden was a terrible person. We know that he hated America and that he wanted to kill Americans. That's all he wanted to do. And that dates back all the way back to the 80s when we basically had a proxy war in Afghanistan, you know, with Russia. So, he masterminded the attacks on 9-11. And we spent years after that trying to track him down to either apprehend him or take him out. And... Donald Trump's statements the other day in an interview with Chris Wallace of Fox News proves, once again, that Donald Trump has no idea how things work. Now, I'm no military genius here. I've never served in the military. I've only had family and friends that have served in the military. I was never able to. But, as a civilian, I'm assuming that in order to do something in the military... You can't just go and do it. Just because you're an admiral in the military, you can't just go and kill some random person. You can't just act on your own volition. You have to have an order to work on. If, I'm, if, if, if I am remembering what people have told me about the military, maybe I'm wrong. Correct me, in the, correct me down in the comments below. But really... But let's get to the heart of what happened. The other day he was doing an interview with Chris, uh, Chris Wallace of Fox News, like I mentioned. And he decided he would attack retired Admiral Bill McRaven. A man who has served this country for 40 years. He's been a Navy SEAL. He was an Admiral in our military. And also the man who led the raid on Osama Bin Laden. The people that were associated with taking that, taking that man down, those people that are on the ground that day, that night, they deserve all the respect in the world. They took out the man, a man who killed a three thousand Americans. You ask me, he got what he deserved. So I have a lot of respect for those Navy SEALs, and a lot of respect for the president that sent them. The balls it took for that president. Which, uh, could you imagine what had happened, would have happened with Barack Obama in 2012 if in 2011 that raid had gone completely south? There would have been no, is, Don, is Barack Obama being reelected? It would have been Mitt Romney is your president. That's what would have happened in 2012. People would have been calling for Obama's impeachment if that had gone south. So it took some balls. But Bill McRaven, an admiral, four-star admiral in our military, Navy SEAL, stand-up man, and Donald Trump decides to attack him. Showing you once again that Donald Trump does not care about our veterans or our troops. He uses our veterans and our troops as pawns in his little game. He tells his base he loves the troops. And then behind closed doors does otherwise. Doesn't show up to support them on Veterans Day. Stays home to make phone calls. Would have taken no more than an hour or two to get over there, make some, say some words, and go back to doing what he was doing. But then he has the nerve, on the heels of that, to attack a four-star admiral in our military. 
A man who served his country for 40 years. And you want to insult him. And act like he's some scum or something. No, Mr. President, you are scum. Bill McRaven is a damn hero, along with the rest of our veterans, whether they feel that they're, they're heroes or not. They will always have my respect. They deserve nothing but the utmost respect and dignity, period. And not a president who sits there and acts like they don't matter. But let's get to what he had to say. It said he's a Hillary Clinton backer and an Obama backer. Okay, well, McRaven did not support any president in the 2016 election. He didn't vote for either of them. He didn't support either of them. He said partisanship was not part of his career. It's not something he did. Yes, he, he, li he said he liked Obama. But he said he also liked George W. Bush. And he says he's like any president who's served the office with dignity and honor. The man served for nearly 40 years, Chris Wallace in, in, you know, even mentioned. So um, at least Chris Wallace did try to you know, hit the president on some things, even though I'm not used to Fox News even questioning anything he says. At least Chris Wallace tried. And then Trump goes to this here. It says, wouldn't it, have, wouldn't it have been nice if we'd gotten Osama Bin Laden sooner? Wouldn't it have been nice? goes on to say, living in Pakistan, beautifully in Pakistan, in what I guess they consider a nice mansion. I don't know, I've seen nicer. More of his little humble brags, I guess. But living in Pakistan right next to a military academy, everybody in Pakistan knew he was there. And we give Pakistan $1.3 a year, and they don't tell him. They don't tell him for years. Don't tell him. Yes, because an admiral can dictate what, what takes, you know, what he does. Because he doesn't have to follow the orders from above him, which would come from the president, for sure. And I'm sure I don't know. I don't know the exact chain of command. I was never in the military, like I said. But I'm fairly certain that Bill McRaven could not just be like, "Oh, well, somebody said he lives over there." Okay, I'm going to go shoot him. There have been rumors for years that that I've heard from the left saying that George W. Bush had him pinned down in 2000, like 2004, but said no. And, and put a, a stand down order out now to my liberal friends I don't believe that to this day I do not believe that I do not believe George W. Bush would have done that I, there's got to be a reason why if we had him there he wasn't there when we got there and I believe that there's a reasonable explanation for that probably because he was just gone before we got there I don't believe George W. Bush said set him free there again, though, if you see anything, if you know anything else that I'm missing, hit me up in the comments. Yes, we gave Pakistan too much money, but it was all in a vein of trying to fight terrorism and keep terrorists from getting a hold of their nuclear weapons. And yeah, maybe we needed to end the time with it. You know, like Donald Trump goes on to say he ended the sending, sending that money to Pakistan. Maybe that's what we needed to do. I, I don't know what to tell you on that. But I do know that insulting Bill McRaven shows Donald Trump, shows just how much Donald Trump does not care about our troops, does not care about our veterans. How much disdain he has for them. Going on saying he would have taken out Bin Laden a lot sooner than the generals did. The generals still answer to the president, you twit. At the end of the day, the president is commander-in-chief. If you want to blame anybody for the order not being sent to take out Bin Laden, blame the presidents, not 
not, let me repeat, not the man who organized and led the raid that took out Osama bin Laden. It is not his fault that his superior people, the superior people, those ahead of him, like the president, did not have the intel available or chose not to send them in. They worked for years to ensure that he was there. They didn't want to accidentally go in and shoot up some family who had nothing to do with it. And yes, I am sure Donald Trump is correct. That they knew. I know Pakistan knew he was there. I know their military knew he was there. I'm also no fan of Pakistan. But to sit there and act like Bill McRaven is some partisan prick who was an Obama, just a big Obama voter, loved Hillary Clinton. So he hates America. It's, how you, it's basically what he's trying to say. So you're telling me because I voted for Hillary Clinton and because I voted for Barack Obama that I hate America. That's the only, th- the only conclusion I can come to with this argument that he is making about Bill McRaven. That you can't support someone like Hillary Clinton or you can't support someone like Donald Trump I mean, or Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama and still love this country and still do the job you have to do. Bill McRaven is a man, a hero, and a retired veteran of our armed forces. And Donald Trump, if you cannot show the man a little bit more respect, I don't care if you're upset because he said something mean about you. Okay? Show some respect. All he did was state the truth. That your attacks on the media are no more than a threat to our democracy. That is a fact. Because the basis of a free democracy is a free press. This has been The Big Ranch Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck. And I'll see you down the road.